Councilman Bonin, uh, this tape talked about you. Let's start with you on this question. Kevin DeLeon gave an interview yesterday and said that he tried to leave a voicemail for you or he left a voicemail for you, hasn't talked to you. What did he say on the voicemail? Uh, would you call him back? What would you say to him directly if he comes into those council chambers? So, uh, yeah, he left a voicemail early Sunday morning, a couple hours after the time story broke, I was being flooded with calls. Uh, he uh, gave a, a half-hearted apology, I thought. He uh, apologized for not intervening when a meeting got out of hand or a conversation got out of hand. And he noted that my family is not fair game even when we disagree. Um, he didn't talk about the particular comments. Uh, he didn't uh, make any gesture of apology to my son. He didn't apologize for the blatantly anti-black uh, racism on there. If I were to, to, to see Kevin today, I would say, as I did in council the other day, it's not my right to apologize. That prerogative belongs to a little boy who is too young to understand the hateful things on that message. And if he wants to wait 10 or 12 years and then ask my son for an apology, he can. He can't come to me to ask for an apology from the black community in Los Angeles. He needs to go to the black community in Los Angeles and do that. And the other thing I would say to him, because I don't know that he's ever had a conversation with my son, hmm. is my son is a beautiful little hmm. boy. Hmm. He is smart and he is tough and he is funny and he is kind and he's adventurous. He's just absolutely, absolutely joyful. Hmm. And if people have heard stuff about him on these tapes, which I know people who have a brain and a heart don't believe, I want them to hear what a wonderful and incredible kid I have who has been embraced and loved by LA and I'm very grateful for that. Wow.